escaped convicted sex offender who attacked a sheriff's deputy en route to Dodge County yesterday. He was on the run for nearly 24 hours. Today, deputies across the river caught Eric Scott. Tonight, he's back behind bars. Authorities considered Scott armed and dangerous after he commandeered the car and kicked the deputy out south of Ceresco along Highway 77 on Wednesday afternoon. They found his car in Omaha last night. Then a tip led them to Scott. 3 News Now senior reporter Jake Wazikowski is live at the Pottawatomie County Jail with the latest. Jake. Yeah, guys, he was located about 12 miles away from where that vehicle was left the last time that uh, he was seen. But that turned out to be uh, real close to right here at the Pottawatomie County Jail. An almost 18 hour manhunt ends with convicted rapist Eric Scott back behind bars, this time in Iowa. The Pottawatomie County Sheriff's Office says someone called them saying a man matching his description was walking on a gravel road near I-29 north of Council Bluffs. Sheriffs were able to take him into custody without incident. Uh, once they were able to talk to him, he admitted that, he said, well, you got me, uh, told him his name. Uh, he, uh, they did lo locate the uh, the deputy's firearm in a bag that he, he carried with him. Scott was being transported to a preliminary hearing for a sexual assault of a child charge in Dodge County when he escaped near Wahoo and drove the government issued vehicle to the Nebraska Furniture Mart. He had stolen a Dodge County deputy's gun. But it shocked me that he was clear over here on this road out of all places. Lori Kaufman says she saw the arrest unfold and remembers vividly how Scott gave up to authorities. He walked forward with his hands up, then he turned around, put his hands behind his head, got down on his knees. Sheriff Danker says it's unclear how he was able to get to the area or where he was going. He didn't tell deputies. Kaufman's glad he didn't get any further. He came down that road there. He was walking up this. Who knows? He might have gone to Donna's, done something. Coming in here, I was home alone. You know, like I said, our doors are always open. That kind of scares me thinking that I didn't know what his intentions were, if he was just to keep going or what. So I'm glad they got him. He was in prison for a DUI conviction and was actually going to a sexual assault hearing. Now he's being held here at the Pottawatomie County Jail for a felon in possession of a firearm and that Nebraska warrant and could be extradited soon. Reporting live in Council Bluffs, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now.